First, let's try to make the sound I. I. So when you pronounce it, your tongue is a little higher in your mouth, closer to the front. I. Stretch out your lips a little, and it's a short sound. I. Repeat after me. I. 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 Let's now practice with the word sit. Repeat after me. Sit. 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 Good, guys. Let's now practice the second sound, E. So the tongue has the same position. It's a little bit higher, closer to the front. But when you say E, you stretch out your lips a little more and it's a long sound. E. Your lips should feel a little tighter too. E. Repeat after me. E. 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 Let's practice with the word seat. Repeat after me. Seat. 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 Good guys. So we're going to use minimal pairs. They're words with very similar sounds, but the actual vowel sounds are different. And they're a very good way to practice these vowel sounds. So let's now practice together. First, just the sounds. Watch my mouth and repeat after me. I. 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 E. 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 Can you see my mouth? Okay, let's now practice with the words. Sit. Sit, sit, seat, 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 sit, seat, sit, seat, sit, seat. Good job, guys. So let's first practice how to make the sound E. Eh. So your tongue is in the middle part of your mouth. E. Eh. Watch my mouth, how it moves. Eh. Can you watch my mouth and repeat after me now? Eh. 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 Okay, let's now practice with a word. Bed. Can you repeat after me? Bed. 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 Good job. Moving on to the sound I. Now your tongue is a little higher than for the E sound and you should stretch out your lips a little and it's a short sound. I. So let's practice. Repeat after me. I. 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 Let's practice with a word. Bid. Watch how my mouth moves and repeat after me. Bid. 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 Okay, guys, let's now use minimal pairs. Same words, only the vowel sounds change. They're a good way to practice these sounds. But first, just the sounds. So just watch how my mouth moves 
and repeat after me. Eh. 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 I. 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 E. I. E. I. E. I. Let's now take the words bed and bid. Repeat after me. Bed. 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 Bid. 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 Bed. Bid. Bed. Bid. Bed. Bid. Good guys. First, let's learn how to make the sound e. Eh. So your tongue is in the middle part of your mouth, okay? And your mouth doesn't move. E. Eh. Can you repeat after me? E. Eh. E. Eh. E. Eh. Let's now practice with a word. Please repeat after me. Let. 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 For the sound A, it's a little bit trickier. It's what we call a diphthong. So it's actually two vowel sounds combined. A. So as you can see, your mouth moves and your tongue goes up a little as you produce the sound. A. Can you repeat after me? A. 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 Let's practice with the word late. Repeat after me. Late. 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 Great job. Let's now use minimal pairs, so words that are extremely similar, but the vowel sounds change. They're a very good way to practice your vowel sounds. First, let's just practice the sounds. So watch how my mouth moves and repeat after me. Eh. 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 A. 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 E. A. E. A. E. A. Let's now use our words let and late. Repeat after me. Let. 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 Late. 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 Let. Late. Let. Late. Let. Late. Excellent job, guys. First, let's try to make the sound ah. Uh. So your tongue is very low in your mouth. Ah. Can you repeat after me? Ah. 
Ah. Ah. Let's now use the word ran. Repeat after me. Ran. 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 And now let's produce the sound uh. Your tongue is in the middle part of your mouth. Uh. Please repeat after me. Uh. 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 Let's now practice with the word run. Repeat after me. Run. 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 Good guys. Let's now use minimal pairs, words that are very similar, but the vowel sounds change. Very good way to practice the vowel sounds. First, just the sounds. Repeat after me and watch how my mouth moves. Ah. 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 Uh. 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 Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 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 Let's now use the words ran and run. Please repeat after me. Ran, 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 run, 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 ran, run, ran, run, ran, run. Great, guys. First, let's make the sound O. O is actually a diphthong. So it's two vowel sounds. O. So as you pronounce it, as you can see, my mouth is quite round, it moves and it becomes smaller. O. Oh. Let's practice. Repeat after me. O. 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 Practice now with the word so. Repeat after me. So, so, so. And now for the sound O. Oh, as you can see, my mouth is round as well, but it doesn't move. And the sound is a tiny bit longer. O. Oh. Let's practice. Repeat after me. O. Oh. O. O. Let's take the word so. Please repeat after me. So. 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 Good. Let's now use minimal pairs, words that are very similar, but the vowel sounds change. They're a very good way to practice these vowel sounds. First, let's just practice the sounds. Watch how my mouth moves and repeat after me. O. 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 O, O, 
O O O O Let's now take our words so and so repeat after me so 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 excellent guys Let's first learn how to make the sound O. Oh. So when you produce this sound, your mouth is round, your tongue is very low in your mouth, and it's a very short sound. O. Oh. Repeat after me. O. Oh. O. Oh. O. Oh. Let's practice saying the word hop. Repeat after me. Hop, hop, hop. Now with the sound O, the sound O is a diphthong. So it's actually two vowel sounds, O. And as you can see, when I say it, my mouth is round, it moves and it gets smaller. O, repeat after me. O, O, O. Let's practice with the word hope. Repeat after me. Hope, hope, hope. Good guys. Let's now use minimal pairs, words that are extremely similar but different vowel sounds, they're a very good way to practice. First, let's practice only the sounds. Repeat after me and watch how my mouth moves. O, oh. O, oh. O, oh. O, oh. O, oh. O. Oh. O, 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 O. Let's practice with two words, hop and hope. Again, repeat after me. Hop, hop, hop. Hope, 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 hop, hope, hop, hope, hop, hope. Great job. Let's first learn how to make the sound ah. Now, as you can see, my tongue is very low and my chin as well. Ah. Repeat after me. Ah. 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 Let's practice with the word bad. Repeat after me. Bad. Bad, bad. Let's now make the different sound, eh, 
Now, for this sound, my tongue is in the middle part of my mouth and I stretch out my lips a little bit. Eh. Repeat after me. Eh. 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 Let's say the word bed. Repeat after me. Bed. 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 Let's now use minimal pairs, words that sound almost the same, but the vowel sounds are different. They're a good way to practice. First, just the sounds. Watch how my mouth moves and repeat after me. Ah. 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 Eh. 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 Ah. Eh. Ah. Eh. Ah. Eh. Let's use the words bad and bed. Repeat after me. Bad, 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 bed, 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 bad, bed, bad, bed, bad. Bed. First, let's learn how to make the sound R. Ah. Now, as you can see, when I say R, ah, my mouth is round, my tongue and my chin are very low. And it's a long sound, it's very deep. Ah. Please repeat after me. Ah. 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 Let's practice with the word far. Repeat after me. Far. 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 The sound er uh, is also a long vowel sound, very deep, but my tongue is in the middle area of my mouth. Repeat after me. Er. Uh, er. Uh, er. Uh. Let's practice with the word fur. Repeat after me. Fur. 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 Let's take minimal pairs, these words that sound very similar, but the vowel sounds are different. Very good way to practice our vowel sounds. First, just the sounds. Repeat after me and always watch how my mouth moves. Ah. 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 Uh. 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 Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Let's now take two words, far and fur. Repeat after me. Far. 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 Fur. Fur. 
fur fa fur fa fur fa fur good guys Okay guys, let's now practice producing the sound b in English. So, what you're going to do. The first thing is that this b sound is voiced, which means that you're going to use your voice. So when you produce the sound, you are going to feel a vibration in your throat. And what you're going to do is basically push out the air with your lips they should touch each other so b okay please repeat the sound after me b b b let's now practice with the word bin please repeat after me bin 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 good and now let's practice producing the sound p in english so p is basically going to be the exact same thing as the b sound but it's unvoiced which means that you are not going to use your voice no vibration in the throat you're just going to push out the air with your lips no sound so p. can you repeat after me p. 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 let's practice with the word pin repeat after me pin pin Pin. Good job. Okay, students, let's now practice with minimal pairs, words that sound very similar, but the actual sounds are different. They are very useful to help you hear the difference between the two sounds. So first, let's practice just the sounds, okay? And I want you to repeat after me. First, the B sound. B. 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 And now the P sound. Remember, unvoiced. Okay, watch my mouth. Repeat after me. P. 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 Good. Let's now practice both. Please repeat after me. B. P. B. P. B. P. Good. And let's now take our words. Please repeat after me. Bin. Pin. Bin. Pin. Bin. Pin. Excellent, guys. Moving on. Let's practice producing the N consonant sound in English. So, what you're going to do is, there's going to be air coming through your nose and you're going to block the air in your mouth with the tip of your tongue. So, the tip of your tongue should be up there. Okay, watch me. Mm. Okay, I want you to repeat after me. 
Let's now use the word pin. Please repeat after me. Pin. 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 Good. Let's now learn how to produce the NG sound in English. So what you're going to do, there's still air coming through your nose and you're also going to block the air in your mouth. But this time, not with the tip of your tongue, but with the back of your tongue. So this time, it's the back of your tongue that's going to be up there. Okay, watch me. Mm. Okay, please repeat after me. Mm. 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 Let's use the word ping. Please repeat after me. Ping. 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 Good, guys. Moving on. Okay, we're now going to practice with minimal pairs, words that sound very similar, but the sounds are actually different. They are very useful for you to hear the difference between the two sounds. First, let's focus on the sounds themselves. Please repeat after me. First, the N sound. N. 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 And now the NG sound. N. N. Mm. Let's now do both. Please repeat after me. Mm. 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 And now let's practice with our words. Please repeat after me. Pin. Ping. Pin. Ping. Pin. Ping. Very good, guys. First, let's learn how to make this T sound, the T sound in English. It's unvoiced. So you are not going to use your voice. You are not going to feel vibration in your throat. You're just going to push out some air. And for this, your tongue is going to be forward against your top teeth. And then you're going to push out some air and your tongue is going to go down. Okay, T. please try and do it. Repeat after me. T. 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 Let's practice with the word tip. Please repeat after me. Tip. 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 Good. Let's now focus on the ch sound in English. It's slightly different. It's also unvoiced, so no vibration in your throat. Okay. But this time, your tongue is going to be up there. It's not going to move. And you're going to release a lot of air. So, ch. Please repeat after me. Ch. 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 Let's practice with the word chip. Please repeat after me. Chip. Ch. 
chip, chip. Good. Let's now practice with minimal pairs, words that sound practically the same, but the sounds are actually different. Very useful for you to hear the difference between the two sounds. First, let's focus on the sounds themselves. Please watch my mouth and repeat after me. First, the T sound. Then the ch sound, repeat after me. Ch. 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 Let's do both. Please repeat after me. And finally, let's practice with our words. Please repeat after me. Tip. Chip. Tip. Chip. Tip. Chip. Good job, guys. Moving on. First, let's produce the F sound in English. What you're going to do is, you're not going to use your voice, it's a voiceless sound, so no vibration in your throat. You are going to place your teeth against your bottom lip and you're going to push out some air through your teeth and your bottom lip. So, okay? Please watch my mouth and repeat after me. Let's practice with the word fan. Repeat after me. Fan. 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 Good. As for the V sound, it's exactly the same as the F sound, but this time you are going to use your voice. It's a voiced sound, so you are going to feel some vibration. Okay? So, V. Can you please repeat after me? V. 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 Let's practice with the word van. Please repeat after me. Van. 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 Good. Let's now practice with minimal pairs words that sound very, very much alike, but the sounds are actually different. They are very useful if you really want to hear the difference between the two sounds. First, let's practice producing the sounds themselves. Please repeat after me. First, the F sound. Now the V sound, repeat after me. V. 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 Let's now do both. Repeat after me, guys. V. 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 
Let's now take our words. Repeat after me. Fan. Van. Fan. Van. Fan. Van. Good, guys. First, guys, let's practice producing the sound L in English. So, it's a voiced sound. So, again, you're going to use your voice. You're going to feel this vibration in your throat. And your tongue is going to be forward, okay? It's going to touch your upper teeth. So, it's L, okay? Can you repeat after me? L. Ooh. Ooh. Let's now practice with the word light. Please repeat after me. Light. 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 And now let's practice producing the R sound. It's slightly different. It's also voiced, so you're going to feel that vibration, but your tongue is not going to be forward touching your upper teeth. This time, it's going to be curved. So it's going to go up there, okay? Er. Can you please repeat after me? Er. 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 Let's practice with the word right. Please repeat after me. Right. 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 Good. Okay, students, let's now practice with minimal pairs, words that sound practically the same, but the sounds are actually different. These words are very useful if you really want to hear the difference between the two sounds. First, let's focus again on the sounds themselves. And I want you to repeat after me. First, the L sound. Ooh. 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 And now the R sound. Please repeat after me. Er. 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 Let's now do both. Please repeat after me. Ooh. Er. Ooh. Er. Ooh. Er. Let's now practice with our words. Please repeat after me. Light. Right. Light. Right. Light. Right. Good job, guys. Moving on. First, let's practice making the English consonant B sound in English. So, listen to me very carefully. What you're going to do to produce the sound is, first, you have to know it's a voiced sound, which means that when you produce the sound, you have to feel some vibration in your throat. And what you're going to do is basically push out the air with both your lips. Like I said, B. Watch my mouth. B. B. Now, let's repeat. Repeat after me. 
B. 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 Let's now practice with the word ban. Please repeat after me. Ban. 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 Good. And now let's practice the V sound in English. So this is a little bit different. It is also voiced, so you are also going to have that vibration in your throat. But this time, your lips are not going to touch each other and your top teeth are going to be against your bottom lip. V. Can you see this? V. Let's practice. Repeat after me. V. 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 Let's take the word van. Please repeat after me. Van. 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 Good job. Okay, guys, we're now going to practice with minimal pairs. Words that sound very similar, but the actual sounds are different. And they are very useful to help us hear the difference between the two sounds. First, let's focus on the sounds themselves. And I want you to repeat after me. First, the B sound. B. 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 And now the V sound. Repeat after me. V. 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 Let's now do both. Please repeat after me. B. V. B. V. B. V. Good. And now let's take our words. Ban for the B sound and van for the V sound. Please repeat after me. Ban. Van. Ban. Van. Ban. Van. Excellent, guys. Moving on. Let's practice making the S sound in English. So, it's unvoiced, no vibration in your throat. You don't use your voice. You're simply going to release some air. Your mouth should not move. Your tongue is going to go against your bottom teeth, okay? And your teeth are actually going to touch each other and you're going to release some air. So, please repeat after me. Watch my mouth. Let's practice with the word C. 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 Good. Let's now practice making the sh sound in English. It's also unvoiced. And this time, your mouth is going to be rounded and it's going to come out. Shh. Your tongue is going to be down, okay? And your teeth are definitely not going to touch each other, okay? And you're going to release some air. Shh. Please repeat after me. Shh. 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 Let's practice with the word she. Please repeat after me. 
she, she, she. Good. Let's now practice with minimal pairs. These words that sound very, very much alike, but the sounds are actually different. They are very useful if you really want to hear the difference between the two sounds. First, the sounds themselves. And I want you to watch my mouth, how it moves, and to repeat after me. First, the S sound. Then the sh sound. Please repeat after me. Shh. 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 Let's now do both. Repeat after me. And let's now practice with our two words. Please repeat after me. C. She. C. She. C. She. Very good, guys. Let's first learn how to produce the TH sound in English. But this TH is voiced. So you are going to use your voice. You're going to use, um, you're going to feel a vibration in your throat. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your tongue between your teeth and you're not going to push out some air. What you're going to do is you're going to create a vibration with your tongue. So your tongue has to vibrate. Okay? Please watch my mouth and repeat after me. Let's practice with the word then. Please repeat after me. Then. 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 Good. Let's now move on to the z sound. So this is voiced. You are going to use your voice and feel a vibration in your throat. You're going to put your tongue against your bottom teeth and you're going to make it vibrate. Use your tongue. Just make a sound. So, z. Okay? Please repeat after me. Z. 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 Let's practice with the word zen. Please repeat after me. Zen. 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 Good. Let's now practice with minimal pairs. These words that have very similar sounds, but they are quite different actually. And they're very good if you really want to hear the difference. But first, let's focus on the sounds. Please watch how I move my mouth and repeat after me. First, the TH sound. Th. 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 And now the Z sound. Please repeat after me. Z. 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 
Let's now do both. Repeat after me, guys. V, z, v, z, v, z. z. Let's now practice with our words. Please repeat after me. Then. Zen. Then. Zen. Then. Zen. Excellent, guys. Let's first learn how to make the F sound in English. So it's an unvoiced sound. You are not going to use your voice. You're not going to feel any vibration in your throat. Now, what you're going to do is put your teeth against your bottom lip and you're going to push out some air through your teeth and bottom lip. Okay? Please. Try and do it. Repeat after me. Let's practice with the word fat. Please repeat after me. Fat. 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 Good. Let's now practice producing the sound H in English. So as you can see, your mouth is wide open. It's voiceless as well, so no, no sound, no vibration. Mouth wide open, and you're going to push out the air with your throat. It has to come from down there. So. Please watch my mouth. Try to repeat after me. Let's practice with the word hat. Please repeat after me. Hat. 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 Good. Let's now practice with minimal pairs. Two words, they sound very, very much alike, but the sounds are actually different. And they are very good for you to hear the difference between the two sounds. But first, let's practice the sounds themselves. Please watch my mouth and repeat after me. First, the F sound. Now the H sound. Let's do two sounds together. Please repeat after me. And now let's take our words. Please repeat after me, guys. Fat. Hat. Fat. Hat. Fat. Hat. Good job. Okay, guys, let's now learn how to produce the S sound. So, S, 
it's a voiceless sound. You're not going to use your voice. You're not going to feel the vibration in your throat. What you're going to do is your teeth are going to touch each other and your tongue goes down. It touches your um, lower teeth. Okay. And you're going to push out some air. So please watch my mouth. Repeat after me. Let's practice with the word sink. Please repeat after me. Sink. 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 And now let's make the TH sound in English. So it's voiceless again, no vibration, no voice. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your tongue between your teeth, okay? And you're going to push out some air, okay? Repeat after me. Let's practice with the word think. Please repeat after me. Think. 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 Good. Let's now practice with minimal pairs, words that are practically the same, but the sounds are different. They are very good if you want to hear the difference between the two sounds. First, let's focus on the sounds themselves. Please watch my mouth and repeat after me. First, the S sound. S. 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 And now the TH sound. F. 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 Now let's do both. Please repeat after me, guys. S. F. S. And now let's practice with our words. Please repeat after me. Sink. Think. Sink. Think. Sink. Think. Very good, guys. Let's first learn how to produce this k sound in English. It's voiceless. You are not going to use the vibrations of your throat, your voice. You're just going to push out some air. And you're going to place the back of your tongue up there and you're going to push out some air with the back of your tongue. So, k. Can you please do this? Repeat after me. K. 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 Let's practice with the word cot. Please repeat after me. Cot. 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 Let's now move on to the g sound. Now it's the same as the k sound, but it's voiced. 
So you're not going to push out some air, you're going to produce a sound, you're going to make your throat vibrate, okay? So back of your tongue up there, and you produce a sound, you use your voice. So G. Please repeat after me. G. 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 Let's practice with the word got. Please repeat after me. Got. 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 Good. Let's now practice using minimal pairs. These words sound almost the same, but they are different. They're very good if you want to focus on the differences between the sounds. But first, let's focus on the sounds themselves. Watch my mouth. Please repeat after me. K. 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 G. 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 Let's do it together. Please repeat after me. K. G. K. G. K. G. And now let's practice with the words. Please repeat after me. Cot. Got. Cot. Got. Cot. Got. Very good, guys. First, let's learn how to produce this T sound in English. T. It's voiceless. You're not using your voice, no vibration in your throat. You're just going to push out some air. You put your tongue against your top teeth and you push out some air. T. Please repeat after me. Let's practice with the word ten. Please repeat after me. Ten. 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 Good. And now moving on to the D sound. The tongue is in the same place as with the T sound. It's actually the same, but this D sound is voiced. You're going to use your voice and your throat is going to vibrate. So you put your tongue against your top teeth, but this time you don't push out some air, you produce a sound. So D. Please repeat after me. D. 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 Let's practice with the word den. Please repeat after me. Den. 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 Great. Let's now practice using minimal pairs. These words that are almost the same, but the sounds are different. They're very good if you want to focus on the differences between the sounds. First, let's focus on the sounds themselves. Watch my mouth. Repeat after me, please. First, the T sound. T. 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 Now the D sound. D. 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 Let's now do both. 
Please repeat after me. T. D. T. D. T. D. Just a trick. The T sound is voiceless. The D sound is voiced. If you really want to make sure that you can do it properly, what you can do is you put your hand in front of your mouth. If it's voiceless, it means that you're going to push out some air and you're going to feel some air on your hand. You can actually feel the air on your hand. If it's voiced, you won't. But if it's voiced, if you put your hand on your throat, you can feel the vibration. Okay? So you can do that to make sure that you pronounce correctly. Let's now move on to our words. Please repeat after me. Ten. Den. Ten. Den. Ten. Den. Great job, guys. First, let's practice how to make the F sound in English. It's unvoiced, so you're not going to use your voice, no vibration in your throat. You're going to put your teeth against your lower lip and you're going to push out some air through your teeth and your lower lip. So, please watch my mouth. Repeat after me. Let's practice with the word fin. Repeat after me. Fin. 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 Good. And now let's learn how to produce the TH sound in English. It's unvoiced, no voice, no vibration in the throat. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your tongue between your teeth and push out some air. Please repeat after me. Let's practice with a word, the word thin. Please repeat after me. Thin. 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 Great, guys. Let's now practice with minimal pairs. These words that are very similar, but the sounds are actually different. Super useful if you really want to hear the difference between two sounds. First, let's focus on our sounds. Please watch my mouth and repeat after me. First, the F sound. And now the TH sound. Let's now do both. Please repeat after me. And now let's take our words. Please repeat after me. Fin. 
fin 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 great First, let's learn how to make the j sound in English. So this is a voiced sound. You're going to use your voice and feel the vibration in your throat. What you do is you place your tongue up there. It doesn't move, but your mouth is going to come out and you're going to produce a sound using your throat. You have to feel that vibration. Okay, so j. Please repeat after me. J. 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 Let's practice with the word jag. Please repeat after me. Jag. 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 Good. Let's now move on to the z sound. It is voiced as well. You're going to use your voice and feel the vibration in your throat. You put your tongue against your bottom teeth. Your teeth should practically touch each other and you're going to produce that vibration using your voice. Okay, so z. Please repeat after me. Z. 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 Let's use the word zag. Please repeat after me. Zag. 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 Good. Let's now practice using minimal pairs. These words that sound almost the same, but not exactly. And they're extremely good if you really want to focus on the difference between the two sounds. First, let's focus on the sounds. Watch how I move my mouth and repeat after me. First, j. 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 And now the z sound. Repeat after me. Z. 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 Let's now do both. Please repeat after me. J. Z. J. Z. J. Z. Let's now use our words. Please repeat after me, guys. Jag. Zag. Jag. Zag. Jag. Zag. Great. Let's now practice making this initial F consonant sound in English. So, F. It's voiceless. You are not going to use your voice. No vibration in your throat. What you're going to do is you're going to place your top teeth against your bottom lip and you're going to push out some air. So, th. please repeat after me. Th. 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 Let's practice with the word fan. Please repeat after me. Th. 
fan 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 great moving on now to the p sound so p. so it's voiceless as well no voice no vibration in your throat your lips are going to touch each other and you're going to push out some air with your lips. So, p. please repeat after me. P. 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 Let's use the word pan. Please repeat after me, guys. Pan. 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 Great. Let's now practice using minimal pairs. These words sound almost the same, but the sounds are different. And they're very useful if you really want to focus on the difference between sounds in English. But first, let's focus on our sounds themselves. Please watch how I move my mouth and repeat after me. First, the F sound. And now the P sound. Repeat after me. Let's now do both. Please repeat after me, guys. Let's now bring our words. Please repeat after me. Fan. Pan, fan, pan, fan, pan. Great job. First, let's learn how to make the D sound in English. It's a voiced sound. You're going to use your voice, feel the vibration in your throat. What you do is you put your tongue behind your top teeth and you make your throat vibrate. You use your voice and you produce a sound. So D. Okay? Please repeat after me. D. 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 Let's practice with the word dog. Please repeat after me. Dog. 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 Good. Let's now move on to the J sound. It's voiced as well. You're also going to use your voice and feel the vibration in your throat. But this time, your teeth should touch each other. Um, you're going to place your tongue up there and it's not going to move. And you're going to produce a sound. J. Okay? Please repeat after me. J. 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 Let's use the word jog. Please repeat after me. Jog. 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 Great. Let's now practice minimal pairs. These words are almost the same, but the sounds are different. They're very useful if you want to hear the different sounds in English. 
First, let's focus on our two sounds. Please watch my mouth. Repeat after me. D. 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 J. 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 Let's now do both. Please repeat after me, guys. D. J. D. J. D. J. Let's now use our words. Please repeat after me. Dog. Jog. Dog. Jog. Dog. Jog. Great job. Let's now focus on pronouncing this final K sound in English. So it's voiceless. You're not going to use your voice. No vibration in your throat. Your tongue is up there and you're going to push out some air and you're going to push out a little bit more air because it's final. Okay? So it's K. Please repeat after me. Let's practice with the word back. Please repeat after me. Back. 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 Good. And now moving on to the final G sound. Same position, your tongue is up there, but you're not going to push out some air. This time you're going to use your voice and feel the vibration in your throat so you produce a sound. It's G. Please repeat after me. G. 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 Let's practice with the word bag. Please repeat after me. Bag. 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 Good. Let's now practice with minimal pairs. These words are almost the same, but the sounds are different. They're extremely good if you really want to hear the different sounds. Let's first focus on our sounds. Please watch my mouth and repeat after me. First, the K sound. Another G sound. G. 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 Now let's do both. Please repeat after me. K. G. K. G. K. G. And now let's use our words. Please repeat after me. Back. Bag. Back. Bag. Back. Bag. Great job. Let's first learn how to make this M sound in English. It's voiced. You're going to use your voice, feel the vibration in your throat. And actually, it's very simple. 
Your mouth is very still. You're not going to do anything. Your lips touch each other. Your tongue doesn't move at all. Your mouth is absolutely still and you're just going to produce a sound. So, mmm. That's it. Please repeat after me, guys. Mmm. 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 Let's practice with the word some. Please repeat after me. Some. 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 Good. Now moving on to the N sound, which is also a nasal sound. These are two nasal sounds, so you're going to use your nose a little bit more. So for the N sound, it's going to be quite different. You're going to open your mouth. Your tongue is against your top teeth and you're going to produce a sound with your voice because it's a voiced sound. So, mmm. Please repeat. Mmm. 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 Let's practice with the word sun. Please repeat after me. Sun. 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 Good. Let's now practice using minimal pairs. The words are practically the same, but the sounds are different. They're very good if you want to focus on the different sounds. But first, let's practice the sounds. Please watch my mouth. Repeat after me. Mmm. 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 And now the N sound. Mmm. 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 Now let's do it together. Please repeat after me. Mmm. 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 And now let's use the words. Please repeat after me. Some. Sun. Some. Sun. Some. Sun. Excellent. First, let's learn how to produce the final T sound in English. It's a voiceless sound. You're not going to use your voice, no vibration in the throat. What you're going to do is you're going to place your tongue against your top teeth and you're going to push out some air, okay? T. Please repeat after me. T. 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 Let's practice with the word bat. Please repeat after me. Bat. 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 Great. And now moving on to the final D sound. It's exactly the same. Same position of the tongue, same thing. But you're not going to push out some air. This time you're going to use your voice. You're going to make a sound. Okay, so D. Please repeat after me. D. 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 Let's practice with the word bad. Please repeat after me. Bad. 
bad bad good let's now practice with minimal pairs the words are almost the same but the sound is different they're very good if you want to focus on the different sounds in english first let's practice the sounds the t sound t repeat after me And now the D sound, please repeat after me. D. 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 Let's do it together. Now, remember guys, don't forget the trick, you know, the hand. When you say T, you've got to feel some air on your hand. When you say D, no air, okay? So make sure that you pronounce them correctly. So, t, d, t, d, t, d. Let's now use our words. Please repeat after me. Bat. Bad, bat, bad, bat, bad. Great. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you've liked it, show me your support. Click like, subscribe to the channel, put your comments below and share this video. See you.